Again, another controversy is the acquittal of former Senator De Lima doon sa drug cases. And ang tinuturong responsible sa acquittal, yung pagkaroon ng reasonable doubt, ay yung affidavit of retraction ni Ragos, who was the former Bucor uh, officer in charge. And uh, ano ba itong affidavit of recantation? Ang isang affidavit of recantation is one affidavit which renounces yung former affidavit niya. At i-withdraw mo yan and publicly sasabihin mong hindi yan totoo. Actually, nangyari yan sa mga Digamo suspects now. Four of them na earlier eh, sinasabing nag-confess have already issued affidavit of retractions. Ang tingin ng ating Korte Suprema sa mga affidavit of re- re- retraction is it is always with suspicion and reservation. Pinaghihinalaan ang mga affidavits of retraction. And the Supreme Court said it looks with disfavor of, upon retractions of testimonies of witnesses who previously testified in court tapos babawiin nila. So insofar as credibility is concerned dan doon sa mga kaso, eh, hindi dapat bigyan ng credence ang mga affidavit of retraction. At sinasabi ng ating Korte Suprema dito na if the testimony earlier given by the accused in court will stand on its own, no, merong corroborating uh, testimonies or evidence, then the affidavit of retraction will stand. Usually kasi tayo ay nagre-retract dahil ikaw ay nabayara, nabayaran, dahil ikaw ay napakiusapan, and uh, you should prove that uh, when you gave that testimony, when you gave that testimony, eh, talagang honest mistake yung nangyari. Otherwise, you will now be charged for perjury.